What's good? What's good? This is Stika. This is Stika, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support that thought me gente. I hope y'all doing good because y'all could have been anywhere in the fact that you're here right now. Man, I appreciate that. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, hey, man. People always ask me, man, what's your religion? What's all this? I never get into the religion part. I just know that God is out there supporting everybody through the good and bad. I always drop down to my knees, say my prayers, and I keep it 100, man. I always do, man. I go through a lot in my life, but I always say, you know, have faith and don't you ever give up on God. But this ain't really too much about a podcast about religion and God and all that kind of way. I'm not doing that. But when I talk about that, it's because this could have been situations in my life that I can't, I can't really explain how I made it out of those situations. I was a I was a knucklehead kid. Um, I didn't really follow the rules and directions the way I needed to, um, and I made some choices in my life that could have potentially put me behind bars, put it got my life taken away. But I'm blessed that I made it this far. But I wouldn't make it this far if I didn't believe in God. And uh, and I know you know a lot of people don't want to get into the religion stuff, and I don't get involved into the, too much of religion because I haven't really dived in into it, right? I haven't really dedicated my life to it. Uh, and um, I, I know one day, you know, one day I'm, I'm leaning towards it, man. But I've always said to a lot of people, man, they just have faith, man. I know things they might not be working out for you right now, but don't lose hope. Let me give you an example, man. So my oldest, um, <laughs> he's playing rugby right now. And um, he's in, in competition with another another uh, student, another player, and he wants to play this one position, right? So somewhere down the process, I guess a team lead or whatever was like, hey, this person's playing this and this person, but it wasn't him. So he was upset. He comes into my, my office and then he's like, uh, he got out of school early. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I got out of school earlier. And I said, don't you got practice? He's like, yeah, I got practice, but I ain't going. And then I was like, why not? I said, you should be out there supporting your team. And he literally said back to me, he said, the team don't support me, so why would I support them? And I was like, that's not the way you got to think. That's not the way you got to think. You got to be positive, man. Go out there, go practice, go do your thing, man. Keep working hard. Don't you give up, man. Have faith. Mind you, my oldest is really leaning into religion heavy, heavy. And I, I support it, man. I support him whatever he does, man. So he's leaning towards it, right? So time goes, he comes back from practice, you know, he does what he has to do. And then he comes in my office and then he just sits there and he kind of like with a little smile on his face. He said, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, well, what's up? What's going on, man? Talk to me, man. He's like, um, I appreciate you pushing me to go. I said, well, what happened? He said, there was a scout out there from Texas Tech looking at certain players in practice and I talked to my coach and then he said, don't listen to the team. I'm the coach. You are playing the position that, that you, the, the position you want. And Texas Tech, the scout, uh, the scout, well, whatever, he was looking at him. He was like, man, I like your worth ethics. Uh, the fact that you're here for practice after school, after leaving early for the day. And um yeah, definitely, man. Keep doing what you're doing. But imagine, right? Imagine. He's coming up to me telling me all this. And then he tells me, man, I appreciate it. And I said, look, man, you got to have faith in everything you do, man. If you really believe in God and you dip in your feet in that and, and, and I'll support you 100%, you just got to show up. You could do anything, just show up. If, if y'all could see my board right here, right? I'm not going to show it right now, but there's a few quotes that I have. And one of them is, you could do anything, just show up. And I've learned that over the years that the reason why certain things didn't happen the way I wanted it to happen is because I didn't show up. I made excuses. Excuses didn't get the job done. You know what excuses did, man? I'm going to keep it 100 to you. What excuses did for me at the time was make me miss opportunities to meet other people in the, in the music business. Excuses, excuses made me take a long, long break on this podcast. Excuses made me not be with certain people that could have benefited me and benefited them to explore bigger options in life. Excuses does not get anything done. 
All you have to do is just show up. That's the start. Like when you go to the gym, right? You at the gym, you showed up, do something. That's all that matters. You showed up. But you, but if you're laying in the bed, getting comfortable with the blanket, comfortable with the pillow, hey man, don't expect your body to look any different than what it is because at the end of the day, you didn't show up. So when I told my oldest this, he was like, you're right, you're right. But I told him, hey, look, it's not about being right. It's not about that. It's about you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, what do I really want? You already got your mind made up of what you want, so just go for it. Forget about what anybody else thinks. Like if I let the comments affect me, trust me, we'll be here for days. I'll be too focused on the comments that I, I won't even focus to move, move on to the next subject. But I told him, all you have to do is show up, man. And God will take care of the rest. I, that, that's that's what I do believe. And before, you know, at the end of my prayers, I say, God, I leave it in your hands. I don't know what direction you're going to take me to, but I leave it in your hands because I trust you enough to say, hey, you know what? It's out of my, it's out of me. I, I, it's out of my hands at this moment. I leave it in your hands, God. And that's what, and that's what I've been, been like since I was a kid. But Let's jump into this one, man. Let's jump into this one, man. I'm going to drop the link in my description for this one specifically. I enjoyed this podcast from the beginning all the way to the end. Tyrese on the Joe Budden podcast, man. He talks about a lot of great things. And I think that a lot of people are not seeing this deeper than what it is, right? Because sometimes, you know, when we see a video on YouTube, right? And we see the hours, the two hours, the three hours that long. People's mind span is very, very short. It it gotta be a real reason why you gotta watch it. But the real reason why I watched it because if y'all seen Tyrese's life, how it goes up, down, and everything, and he just leaves it all on the table. He wears his heart on his sleeves. It, it, he's a genuine person. To meet those kind of people that could express themselves and don't hide anything, he just lets the world know who he is. Those are the people you got to pay attention to because they're giving you certain things that you got to listen to and then process it through your head and say, OK, how do I apply this in my life? When he talks about the group thing with I think it was um, I know it was genuine and another artist. I want to say Tank, but I might be wrong. But when he talks about the group thing that he said. I'm not just gonna put another people because this is what I genuinely loved at first. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just leave it. It is. I'm not gonna continue, and that's one thing that us as humans, and even for myself, it's hard to let go. Sometimes it's hard to let go uh, uh, of those people that you you started something with when you know for a fact it's not working out the way you plan it's working out. So that's one of the things he talks about the 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 child support. Wow, man, 20K, maybe because my money's not at that level yet for 20,000 a month, but he had very valid points. And um, also he talks about the relationship, how relationship change over time, how people get it. it, it look, I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't. I want you to look at it because it's very entertaining. Uh, I was very in tune. And I think Tyrese is one of them people I, one day I'm going to get a chance to meet and just sit down and talk to him because I want to pick his brain because the things that he says are makes so much sense. Even when he talked about marriage, right? It, like a lot of people, you know, were questioning him, would you want to get married again? He said, yes, why not? And I know from experience, but I mean, not me personally because I haven't got married, but from experience from people that are around me that I love so much, went through that whole marriage and it didn't work out like the way, the way it worked out. And now they're looking at it like, I don't ever want to get married again. But Tyrese is like, no, I, I would love to experience that again with somebody that is meant to be with me for the rest of my life. And that's a beautiful thing because a lot, I think sometimes when certain relationships don't work out, the first thing you want to do is exit. And after that, you don't want to live that lifestyle. You don't want to be like that. I'm cool. I moved down. I don't want that no more. And uh, sometimes we don't, we, we forget that we're human and we have emotions. And eventually, if you find the love of your life, you ain't gonna hesitate, man. He talks about a lot of things, man. The music business, the of course the religion. The the one that got me was about uh 
about you may kiss the bride and then you ask yourself like so what have i been doing prior to that like i've been kissing this woman and if i go by biblical terms i should have waited and then after that you know what i mean it's a lot of things man it's intellectual things that you start hearing but man let, let's be real man joe budden come on bro he let you know man that we need an artist like you in the game now more than ever the hip-hop community, I'm not going to say it's washed down because there's a lot of artists that even now that I listen to, I think they're pretty dope. But this, the ones that you see a lot more often, you're like, that's that's not talent. And Joe Budden, man, if y'all know Joe Budden, I mean, I ain't talking about Pump It Up, man. I know y'all always want to bring up that record. Cool. But we talking about Joe Budden, uh, Move Music. Man, lyricists, the lyrics, the impacts, the feelings, the emotions, it makes you feel like you were going through it with him, man. So, uh, it's unfortunate, man. Somebody with so much, and it, even Tyrese talks about that. He touches that, he touches a nerve right there. And I was like, man, it makes so much sense about how you questioning me about my music and why I do it and everything like that. Well, what about you? You're an artist. You as well got talent. You got a gift and you're not even expressing it to the world that you could give it. You're in a bigger platform now than ever. So anything you put out, people going to be like, okay, it's Joe Budden. The, the, you know, it it just, it's, it's, it's crazy to me, man. Because I didn't become a fan of Joe Budden ever when he, when he was doing the Pump It Up thing. I wasn't really... Even listening to his music like that. Once that uh, somebody got me into that Moon Music 2, not the first one, so I didn't get a chance to check it out, but I did go back and check that out. But when that second one, my, my goodness, man. A savage lyricist. This dude right here, ball for ball, one of the best. After that, I just got addicted for it. Eh, eh, from two all the way after that, from the threes to other albums he put, man, I was just, I was just, Focus on Joe Budden after that, man. Uh, and then I had an opportunity to see him here in Fort Worth. But I will say this, man. I was extremely sick. And I'm the type of person, if I'm like like sick, sick, I'm not going to. I'm No, nah, man. This is way before the vid. Uh, I was like, nah, man. I ain't stepping out there, man, trying to spread my germs to anybody. So I was like very sick. So I couldn't make it. But I wanted to check him out just to see. Because I've been listening to him, right? So... Yeah, like I said, man, I want to spoil the whole interview, man. I think it's one of the best interviews out there right now. I think it needs more more light on it. And I had to share my input on, uh, on the most highest of what I believe in. And would I ever say that one day I'm going to be fully dedicated in that? I know for a fact I will. I don't know what my time, you know. But I, I think that when that happens, I think it just takes over your body. And, you, and your body just leads you that direction, man. And we'll see. We'll see. But definitely... It's an episode y'all want to watch. Like I said, I'm going to drop the link in my description. I want, oh, and y'all let me know, man. Uh, have y'all ever experienced that? You know, have y'all ever experienced some, some, out of, uh, you know, some things in your life that you went through and you wonder, how did I make it out of that? How? Somebody was watching over me, man. But do me a favor, man. Subscribe to the channel. See the gusta lo que mira. Press like. Share this video on all your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interactive with me. Hit the to side. Hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith. And never give up. All right. One. What's good? What's good? Hey, this is Stiko. Hey, somewhere on here, there's a link to my music page. Y'all go check out the music. We got video, visuals. Uh, we got audio. Trust me, we got some dope music. When you get a chance, subscribe to that channel as well. The music is on there. Hey, let's keep this rolling, man. Y'all know what it is, man. This is Stiko. All right, one.